Warner Brothers and New Line Cinema's highly anticipated horror sequel The Nun 2 has brought back a familiar face with Taisa Farmiga set to return. The 28-year-old actress has signed on to reprise her role as Sister Irene in the sequel, according to Deadline. Warner Brothers slash New Line have also set a September 8, 2023 release date for the horror sequel, which is currently the only movie slated for release on that date. The move isn't terribly surprising, since Farmiga teased the possibility of returning for the sequel in February, while promoting the Gilded Age with THR. There have definitely been whisperings and talks in the last year, but the pandemic has obviously affected everything including filming and such, Farmiga said. So I heard mentions of it back in the fall, maybe, and there were talks of potentially trying to see what my availability was. But I also haven't seen a script, she added. So I haven't heard anything definitive or anyone say, hey, this is going. So I don't know, but I would love to go back and visit Sister Ryerine. It's been years, she said. The nun followed Father Burke, Damien Beecher, and Sister Irene, Farmiga, who are sent by the Vatican to investigate the death of a young nun in Romania. They must confront the terrifying presence of a demonic nun, Bonnie Ahrens, who was first teased in The Conjuring 2. No story details for the sequel were given, but Farmiga joined Storm Reid, who signed on in late September for a lead role. A casting call leaked back in May, which revealed the story will be set in 1956 France where another priest was murdered by Valak the Daemon nun. The first non-movie debuted in September 2018 and was a surprise box office hit, debuting with $53. 8 million on route to $117. 4 million domestic and $365. 5 million worldwide, from just a $22 million budget. The Nun 2 will be directed by Michael Chavez, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, from a script by Akela Cooper, Malignant, with recent revisions by Ian Goldberg and Richard Nunn. Atomic Monsters James Wan and the Safran Company's Peter Safran will produce the sequel. Judson Scott will oversee for Atomic Monster with Michael Clear and Gary Doberman executive producing, 